Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Young at Heart, session number 104. I'm Father James DeLucio with the Paulist Fathers with rhymes, songs, stories to keep us young at heart, and today's selections are Mother Goose, and we're going to the birds with stories about Cock Robin and his very first love, Cock Sparrow and how he outwitted a naughty little boy, and perhaps the best known of today's rhymes, Who Killed Cock Robin? But before we get to that morbid thought, let's see how his first love came about and what Cock Robin did about it. For love is a many splendored thing, although who uses that word anymore? Have you ever used it? in your everyday conversation, splendored? I have not. Here we go. Cock Robin got up early at the break of day and went to Jenny's window to sing a rondelay. He sang Cock Robin's love to little Jenny Wren and when he got unto the end, then he began again. An ardent lover, a persistent lover, Cock Robin, I think he did receive Jenny's love in return. And so that's a lesson for all you young adults who are still in the mating game. Okay. And now we have this. A little cock sparrow sat on a green tree, and he chirruped and he chirruped, so merry was he. A naughty boy came by with his bow and arrow, says he, I will shoot this little cock sparrow. His body will make me a nice little stew, and his giblets will make me a little pie, too. Oh, no, said the sparrow, I won't make a stew. So he clapped his wings, and away he flew. Ingenious little bird. And here's a variation on the same idea. A little cock sparrow sat up in a tree, as merry, as merry, as merry could be. A little boy came with his bow and arrow and said he would shoot this little cock sparrow. Says the little cock sparrow, you shan't shoot me. He fluttereth his wings and away flew he. And now we come to the funeral, the death and funeral of Cock Robin. Again, many nursery rhymes do address death in a way to bring children some sense of comfort of its reality not to be feared and also to give a sense of the soothing spirit that comes when people attend to a death and go through the rituals of funeral and farewell, something not to be afraid of, but to be inspired by, that we all come together in times of grief. So off we go. Who killed Cock Robin? I, said the sparrow, with my bow and arrow, I killed Cock Robin. Who saw him die? I said the fly with my little eye. I saw him die. Who caught his blood? I said the fish with my little dish. I caught his blood. Who make the shroud? I said the beetle with my thread and needle. I'll make the shroud. Who'll dig the grave? I said the owl with my pick and shovel, I'll dig the grave. Who will be the parson? I, said the rook, with my little book, 
I'll be the parson. Who'll be the clock? I, said the lock, if it's not in the dock, I'll be the clock. Who'll carry the link? I, said the linnet, I'll fetch it in a minute. I'll carry the link. Who'll the chief mourner be? I, said the dove, for I mourn for my love. I, the chief mourner, will be. Who'll carry the coffin? I, said the kite, if it's not all through the night, I'll carry the coffin. Who'll bear the pall? We, said the wren, both the cock and the hen, we'll bear the pall. Who'll sing a psalm? I, said the thrush, as she sat on a bush, I'll sing the psalm. Who'll toll the bell? I, said the bull, because I can pull, I'll toll the bell. And all the birds of the air fell a-sighing and a-sobbing when they heard the bell toll for poor cock robin. May you have comfort and peace. And as we were speaking of a funeral for anyone who has died in these many months from the virus or any other ailment, let's pause for a moment of silence and hopefully have some sense of thanksgiving for the lives they shared with us or some forgiveness if they did not share well but to be at peace for that all are in the hands of God. And we pray that we may stave off death until a more fitting time with our hopes and dreams for what we may accomplish that God grants us the time to do so. And meanwhile, May we do our best this day to stay safe, stay healthy, and accept the blessings that are here at hand. God bless everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye.